Hello everyone! In this video, we'll focus on pulleys, okay, the derivation of the formulas for acceleration and tension, and then the free body diagram of these pulleys, okay? Let's start. We have these uh, three pulleys here, so we have the vertical, one that is on a horizontal position, um, one that is, you know, attached to the surface, and the other one is in inclined plane. But of course, it's not limited to this, there are also a lot of pulleys that can be more complex than these, okay? But this will just be the focus of our discussion. Let's have first this one, vertical pulley, okay? So, there, let's start. So, we can redraw this, of course. You have here, okay, M1, and then M2. Given that M2 is greater in mass, so M2, is greater than M1. We can say that there are the forces acting here. So, M1 has the weight, okay, M1G. And then, it also has this tension force, okay. As you can see, they're combined with, uh, I mean, they're connected with a single string, so they have the same tensional force. So, we also have this tensional force here, okay. And here, the motion of the object, this will be um, M1, M2G, okay? Here, you can have it drawn this way, okay? So, that will be tension. But for us to imagine this, we can draw this in a horizontal position so that it will be easy for you to imagine. This will be M1 and the tension and then, of course, M2. Okay, force that is pulling this is M2G, and then we also have here the force pulling this M1G. So, we can have here a single force, okay, and now the tension is acting in opposite direction, so this will be the same, okay? They will just have the same force. So, we can have here, okay, that will be m one plus M2, okay, and we have here the force, M2G, and then we have here M1G, okay, so that is the simplified version of this, so we can now solve for the acceleration, remember that acceleration is equal to the summation of forces over mass, and as you can see, these are the forces acting on this object, so we'll have this, but according to our assumption, we have here M2, is greater than M1, so therefore, it will move this way, okay? Having this force greater than this force, M1G. So therefore, we can write here M2G minus M1G all over the combined mass as M1 plus M2. And that's how you solve for the acceleration, okay? And now, for the tensional force, of course, we have here the string. You have to select one system. Okay. For system 1, for example, we have here. Uh, let's have first M2. Okay. M2. So, for M2, we have here the tension force. And then, we have here M2G. Right? Again, you just select one system for you to solve the tension. And going back to these force. So, a is a mission of force over mass. So, therefore, the forces acting here is M2G, which is greater in value, minus the tension all over M2. So, that's A. So, let's just simplify this so that we'll have the formula for T. So, that will be AM2 equal to M2G minus T, right? So, we'll have here T is equal to m 2G minus AM1. AM1. So, that's how you can solve for the tension. You can also have the other one for the M1 if, if you want that. So, for M1, okay, tension and then the weight of the object. But you know that here, again, it will move this way. So, we'll have a negative value for um, the tensional force. Or we can say this way. So, this will be the tension and this is M2 
1g, right? So a while ago we say that m2g would be greater than m I than the tension. Okay, that's why we have here m2g first minus d1. Here, obviously that if you'll go back to the illustration, it will move this way. Therefore, tension is greater than the value of m1g because it will be able to carry it upward. Right? So now the summation of forces will be equal to summation. I mean, acceleration is summation of forces over M. So this time, again, because tension will be greater than M1, we'll have your tension 1, which will overpower M1, of course, minus M1G over M1. Okay? Do you get the point? That's why this one is would be different. Okay. Okay. So, let's simplify this. This is AM1 equal to T minus M1G. So, for us to solve T, let's simplify. T is now equal to, okay, AM1 plus M1G. There. See, if now you will be using any of this, this will give you the same answer. Okay? So, if... Again, it's not limited to this. You should know the process rather than memorizing the formula. Okay, so this is the acceleration and then tension. Okay, let's have the next one for a pulley with a vertical, um, I mean with a horizontal, in a horizontal position. Let's have this one. Let's redraw this again. So here. It will have this mass here, and then there's an object here, right? So, if this will be greater in value, it should be larger. This is M2, and this is M1. Okay, so let's draw the components. So, I mean, the forces. We have here the weight of the objects, the M2G, and then you have here the tensional force. Okay, on the other side, we have here the tensional force. And then, this lies on a table, okay, on a flat surface. So, therefore, we'll have this force, M1G. And then, there is also the normal force, right? Because it's on a surface. And as you know, the normal force is equal to the weight if the object lies on a surface. So, we can cancel this out, right? So, let's redraw this in a horizontal position. So, you'll just have your M1 connected to M2. Okay. This is being pulled by M2G. And this one being pulled by M1G. And then you have here Fn. And then you have the tension, which will be 1. And these are equal. So, we will have here... This one. This will be M1 plus M2. There's no other force working here or acting here. Let's just have here this force. M2G. Okay? So, that's it. So, for you to calculate the acceleration, A is equal to the summation of forces over mass. And obviously, this is the only force. So, that will be M2G all over M1 plus m so, that's the acceleration. Now, for the tension, again, you may just select one system. Okay? Let's have M1. Okay. If we have M1, remember that there's a force here, the normal force, and then the M1G, or the weight, and then here we have the tension force. And because these forces are equal, okay, you can say that the summation of forces here, okay, A is equal to over M. So, the force here will only be the tension. A is equal to tension over the mass sub 1 or M1. Simplifying this, so tension is equal to A multiplied by M1. Okay? But if you want to use the other one, M2, this is also possible, M2. So, here... You have the tension force, okay? And then, we have here M2G, right? So, the same thing. Acceleration is the summation of forces over mass. 
So we'll have here. The force is acting here. This will be greater than this. It will be pulling this downward. So that will be M2G minus the tension over M2. That's the acceleration. So simplify. So we'll have M2 here equal to M2G minus tension. So now tension is equal to M2G minus AM2. Okay, if you use this system, then this will be the formula. If you use the other one, the M1, this will be your tension force. Okay, so let's have the next one. But then there will be, of course, another, like, another spice if there will be a frictional force. Okay, we'll try to have an example on that. Let's have... The third one, the third one is with an inclined plane. So here, we'll be recalling um, the FBD of an inclined plane. So let's redraw this one. So here's the inclined plane. Okay, you have here M1. Okay. And then M2. Okay, here class, um, you have to identify which would be larger. Obviously, this is the M2. Okay, if it's the M2, then now let's draw the free body diagram. So, for M2, of course, there's M2G because it's just hanged. And then we have here the tension force. And then for M1, we have here the weight. But then let's get the components. Okay, and then we'll be working with the components. Mg cosine theta, right? And then here we have here Mg sine theta theta and then we have here the normal force fn oops there and you know that normal force and mg cosine theta are equal so you'll only have here this one okay let's redraw this this way so if this is your m1 connected to m2 m2 will be pulled by m2g right and then this one, this is being pulled by M1G sine theta. This should be, okay, this is M1G, M1G sine of theta. Then here you have Fn, and here you have Mg cosine theta, which are equal in value, so we can eliminate that. And we can now simplify here this way. So, tension, we'll be sharing the same tension, so that will be 1. So, now we have M1 plus M2. The force acting here will be M2G. And then here, the force acting will be this one. M1G sine theta, right? So, because it will move this way, okay, again, it will move this way. So, towards M2. So, M2 will be greater in value. Like, it will overpower and win the pooling of this 2. So, that will be A is equal to the summation of forces over mass. And looking at this example, so it will be moving here. So, it's M2G minus M1G sine of theta all over M1 plus M2. Okay, so that's how you solve the acceleration, right? So for the tension force, so for the tension force, you just select one system. So let's have M1. For M1, okay, tension and then here, it will be M1G sine theta, right? But looking back at the system, it will move towards M2. Therefore, here, tension versus M1G sine theta. Tension will be greater in value. So, your acceleration will now be tension minus M1G sine theta all over M1. Okay? So, next, you just solve for the tension. So, that will be AM1 equal to T Minus M1G sine theta. 
Okay, so tension is equal to AM1 minus or uh, plus M1G sine of theta. Okay, so that's it. If you want the other one, like the M2, M2, so you have here the tension and then you have here M2G. This is the tension. It will just be the same with the other one that we have. Because tension 2 will be greater. So, this one. So, T2. T is equal to M2G minus AM2. Okay? So, you can have this or that. Yeah. Okay. So, as a reminder, it's important. Um, what is important in pulleys is that you know how to, you know, understand the... Um, the free body diagram, all the forces acting on it, you can simplify it and you can work with your equations. Okay? Because it's not all the time that the M1 is here or this would be um, greater than the M1. Okay? So, or this will be this position. Okay? So, what is important is that, you know, you understand free body diagram and then you can work with your equations. You know, the direction of where your pulley or the object will be going to. Okay, so that's it. For the next video, we'll have here um, sample problems involving tension and tension pulleys and inclined pulleys. Okay, thank you.